my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video. So I was tagged by Pitcha at Pitcha Book Fate to do the Would You Rather Book 2 version tag thing that I'm really excited about because I've been wanting to do this but I wanted to be tagged and now I was finally tagged by someone so thank you so much Pitcha. Let's get started with the questions. I go. Question number one is read only trilogies or standalones. For this one, I'm going with trilogies because trilogies are better than standalones. Well, they're not better, but trilogies you can stay with the characters more and you can get more um, acquainted with them and you can get to know them better and still be attached to them emotionally. And I also like trilogies. Because I can stay with the world more and be invested in the story more. Trilogies are just the way to go. Question number two is read only female or male authors. Now I think this one is kind of like a sexist question because it doesn't matter. I think all authors can be good even like either if they're male or female. Like if your story is good I will read it. It doesn't matter to me. Question number three is shop at Barnes & Noble or Amazon. Now, I live in Italy and we don't have Barnes & Noble here, which is sad. I cry. And so I shop on Amazon a lot because I can't buy English books in Italian bookstores because they don't have those and like international bookstores are only in big cities and I live in a small town so I shop with Amazon a lot and it's also really nice because the books that you can get on there are really cheap but uh, when I am in America I love to go to Barnes & Noble it's my favorite place ever because it has Starbucks in it too and you can just have your Starbucks and go around looking at the books maybe buying them. The only thing with Barnes & Noble is that their books are really expensive. Like a hardback could be for like $25 when on Amazon it's like $15. So yeah, but you know, happens. Barnes & Noble is bae, Amazon is bae, everyone is bae. Question number four, would you rather all books becoming a movie or a TV show? Now for this one it's kind of hard, okay, because I love book to movie adaptation. I mean, if, if they're done well, I love them. But I also like um, the TV show adaptation thing because it's longer, you know, and it's I think it's developed better because you have more time to put in more details from the book. Like The Hundred, I haven't read the book, but I just started watching it and it's so good, you guys. It's amazing. Oh my god. Bellamy and Clark. <laughs> but um, um, that, that's another story. That's another story, never mind. Anyway, I just watched Into the Woods. I'm getting off track here. So I like both. I'm not sure, but I'm really excited for the Shadowhunters Mortal Instruments TV show. I'm so excited for it, you guys. I cannot even wait. I, I, I can't wait. Are you excited? Tell me in the comments. Question number five is would you rather read five pages per day or five books a week? Easy, five books a week, that would be amazing. Five pages a day would be like torture for me because I, I have to read at least 130 pages a day. I'm weird. I have that goal thing. Five books per week, that would be freaking amazing. I actually did that once last year because I had like no homework and I read like a book per day. Seriously, it was, it was very good. But yeah, I would much rather read five books per week. Question number six is, would you rather be a professional reviewer or an author? Now, I can't really write stories. Like, I always start to, but then I don't have time to continue them. And my ideas aren't that creative, so I'm not a really good author or anything. I like math more so you know. But um, I am not really good at reviewing either. Whenever I have to review a book I get so nervous because I have to take notes and it takes me like twice the time to read that book because I have to take notes and then do everything and it's so bad and if you if you notice I only posted like two reviews on my channel and I've been on YouTube for about three months so yeah, but I'm planning to do like at least one review a month, so expect that to come up very soon. But yeah, I don't know. Neither of these, I guess. Question number seven is, would you rather only read your top 20 favorite books or read new books? 
all the time. I think that's the question. I can't remember it right now. But that's the concept. Um, I am a big rereader. Uh, I love rereading my favorite books. But I think that if you read them, like, all over and over and over, you get really tired of them, so they wouldn't be as good. So I would probably read new books, because, you know, you can find out more worlds, more characters, and you can fall in love with them. Yeah. Question number eight is, would you rather be a librarian or a bookseller? I love libraries. I always went to the library because I lived, when I lived in America, because I lived, like, five minutes away uh, walking. Uh, so I would always go there like every afternoon and I made like a librarian friend and he would recommend me all these amazing books and it was amazing. Uh, I also really like bookstores so I don't know, I would probably go to a library because I guess like people come more because books are free. Yeah, probably librarian. Question number nine is would you rather only read your favorite genre or every genre except your favorite? Now, I don't really have a favorite genre, but I really like fantasy, so uh, I can't live without my fantasy, though. This is hard. Well, I'm gonna go with every genre expect except your favorite, because there's many types of fantasy. I'm just gonna read all different kinds of genres, because I like exploring new books, and you have to expand your horizons, like Pitcha said in her video. Yeah, so that's it. And Last question, question number 10 is, would you rather read only physical books or ebooks? Physical books, what you think? Okay, so physical books are the best thing ever. They're expensive though. Like, you have big collections of books, and you have like hundreds of dollars on your bookshelves, and you can buy books on your ebook reader for like, much cheaper, but it's not the same thing. Like, it's different. Y you can, you can hug the physical books, and you can pet them, and and you can wet them with your tears. And if you wet your phone your, or your e-reader, it will die with your tears. So yeah, the f physical books. Physical books are the way to go. Okay, so that was my tag. Now, I have no idea who I'm going to tag. I will choose that later, so I'll put it in the description down below. So be sure to check that out. And yeah, so that was my video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want. And I'll see you guys next time.